Hey everybody, Erica here, and today we're going to be trying a bunch of different international candies from the International Eyeliner Grocery Store. We're going to be doing this for fun. You know, a couple candies that you don't usually see when you're buying your normal candies. So we'll see which ones are good, which ones are bad. Hopefully they're all good. First one I'm going to try is this Hello Kitty Strawberry Marshmallows. They've got strawberry jelly on the inside, cute little Hello Kitty on the packaging. It's nice pink. And yeah, they're just Hello Kitty Strawberry Marshmallows. Okay, let's see how they look. wasn't too bad to open. Some candies you really struggle, you know, to get them open. They smell really good. Right away I can smell the strawberry. Strawberries walking right at me. They look like regular marshmallows. Smells like strawberry. And it feels just like a regular marshmallow, not like um, not like those little hard marshmallows or nothing. I am getting a little bit of the powder on my finger. But, so I'll just give them a try. It's good. It's nice you can just pop them in one bite and then you bite down you get the marshmallow and then the jelly filling comes out and they're um, they're not too too sweet and very strawberry -y. so these ones are really good. And then for our next one, we're going to do Lots Koala March. Got a hexagonal box here, little koala guys. These ones are uh, chocolate cream filled cookies. See the packaging? We've got these little cookies have the little koala character on them. It's pretty cute. For this one, just Open up the tab. The guys are so cute. They're doing stuff on the inside there too. Ah, oh, you can even collect these little cards. So I'm going to pull that off and collect it. And then they're in a little foil pouch to keep them fresh. More little koala guys. Ooh. They smell good and chocolatey. See them in there. It's just a regular little cookie. It's got the character on the front. Smells nice and chocolatey. Let's give them a try. And that one's good too. The, the cookie isn't too sweet of a cookie. It's uh, almost like a biscuit cookie. And then the chocolate on the inside, just a uh, chocolate creamy filling. They're pretty good. This one looks angry. So we've got a marshmallow or chocolate. You can make a strawberry marshmallow s'more with these things. It would be pretty good. we have some strawberry gummy candy. 
Kasu Guys Strawberry Gummy Candy. It's very delicious according to the packaging. Please have a fun time with this strawberry gummy candy. So, packaging wants you to have fun. It's from Japan. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing they're gonna be just like strawberry gummies. And it's even gluten free if you're worried about watching your gluten or not eating gluten. gluten. So for this one, this was an easy open too. And a small strawberry E. Reminds me of um, like fruit snacks. Pretty good. They come in their own little individually wrapped to keep them fresh. Strawberry gummy candy. The little strawberry on it. See if we can. This is a little gummy. Looks like it might have a little bit of powdered sugar on it, maybe, or just regular sugar. Just smells like strawberry. It smells good. Hmm. A little chewy. It's good. Tastes like strawberry. It's like the, um, a little more towards the gelatin side. You know how you have the gummies that are really soft, some are a little harder. But it was good. Okay. On the next one, let's do stick with the gummy candies and try this lychee gummy candy. It's a fruit originally grown in southern China and said to have been favored by Yang Gufei. So, it's a gummy, gummy candy which has the flavor and texture of the original fruit. Now, I've never heard of this fruit, but it looks good. This one's gluten free as well. Another um, Kusagi lychee gummy candy. Looks like a berry, maybe. And same packaging, it's in its own little wrapper. It's got a berry, got the li lychee on the front. Now this, I didn't get an overwhelming, this one doesn't have a strong smell when you open the bag or anything. Or maybe it's just because I don't know the smell. hardly smell it. It almost smells floral. It's clear, another gummy. So let's see how it is. It's a gummy, it's chewy. It tastes good. It has the same consistency as the other gummy. But it's definitely a berry taste. If you're in the mood for a berry gummy, it would be really good. What should we try next? See what these are. Got the Meiji Apollo. Something. I think they're chocolate and strawberry candies. But they do have a cute little bunny guy on the back of this one too. It's pretty packaging. 
I'm guessing it's going to be strawberry and chocolate. Maybe the strawberry will be gummy? And this one has plastic on the outside, so gotta fight with it a little bit. just like chocolate and strawberry. So, it's kind of like uh, the candy you get at the movie theaters. Like uh, snow caps, right? They just come in like that. It smells good. I'm betting it's like a strawberry white chocolate and regular chocolate. Got these little cones. They have a little bit of texture to them. But they're cute. It'd be really nice to have them out on like Valentine's or And they smell a little more like strawberry than the chocolate. But let's see how they are. Hmm. They have a little bit of a crunch to them when you first bite. And then it like melts into that chocolate. It's more like chocolate with a hint of strawberry. Even though when you smell them, it's more strawberry. But. Mm -mm. I took this one out. I'm just going to eat it. Very yummy. I don't know what the name of them are though. You just call them Apollo candies. Um, let's jump over to the Lots Koala March. These are like the other ones that have the chocolate creaming, cream filling. These one have strawberry. So, same thing. Cute little characters on there. Our little hexagonal box. I'm gonna just pop open the top. So I get another little collector's card, too. Just checking to see how it looks different. There's this one's, and then you can see they both have the little photographer guy, but they're taking shots of different stuff the koala's doing. They're pretty cute. Collect it. And since it's strawberry, this one has pink. It smells nice and strawberry y. Our little guy here is cute. He's laughing. Same kind of cookie. It's gonna be that like biscuit cookie, but with strawberry. Mmm. Again, with this this one, like the last one, it's not a super strong strawberry. Strawberry is pretty good, but mm, I have a preference for the chocolate ones. Let's, let's try another one. Definitely feel good. So we've had strawberry, chocolate, you can try this strawberry chocolate yin yang, double cream, it's 
It's another Meiji. And it looks like you have the Pocky sticks and dip them in the chocolate or strawberry here. So for this one, we just pull off the top. Kind of like a bigger, maybe adult version of the Dunkaroos like you have when you're a kid. Got the sticks on the one side and the chocolate and the strawberry. Dip them in. Not, not really a powerful scent coming from them, but I guess I wouldn't really expect that from cookies and frosting. Got the strawberry. It's good. The stick reminds me of Pocky. It's kind of like a biscuit cookie stick. Oh, well, strawberry is good. Let's try it again. Mm. I don't know. I'll try the chocolate. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of, but... Chocolate's pretty good, too. It's like... It's probably just Pocky that it's reminding me of. But it's good. You can bring this out with you and just snack on it in the car. I definitely snack on this. Okay. So we've got some more marshmallows. More of our cute little Hello Kitty kind. And these ones are mango. So they have mango jelly on the inside. And we've got a little Hawaiian Hello Kitty to go with the mango. Little Luau flowers. Ooh. And then, like the other one, smelled like strawberry right away when I opened them. These ones smell really, really good, like mango. Sticking together. So these ones are really fragrant. Fragrant. They smell a lot like mango, just like the strawberries. Had a really strong smell. It was good. Again, just looks like a regular marshmallow. Hmm. Hmm. It's good, but maybe I'm not so much of a mango person. The mango jelly on the inside is just almost a little too much mango. It doesn't smell as sweet. It doesn't taste as sweet as it smells. So if you're a mango person, give them a try. But personally, I'll stick to the strawberry ones. So next, we're going to try some Botan, Botan rice candy. He's got a little, like, lucky cat on here. Maybe he's just a regular cat. He kind of looks like a fortune cat. And we get a free sticker when you pick up one of these. I don't really know what it's going to be. Rice candy. So let's see. Got the plastic packaging on the outside. Oh, here we go. Nice little convenient for easier opening. Hmm. Oh, here's my sticker. 
This little cute guy. I like what these come with stuff. That's so cute. I can't really smell these. But they're wrapped. They're wrapped on the inside too, so... I can't smell them all. They seem like just little hard candies. Uh, individually wrapped, they're all the same color. You can see them in there. There's just a bunch of them in there that look like this. They say JFC. I guess that's just the name of the company. Let's see what, we, let's see what these guys are like. I still don't really... Got some extra plastic on there. Uh, let's get that all off. They still don't really have a scent, though. Eee. So for these, there's like a another piece of plastic. It's kind of hard to get off. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to eat it. I would just try another one, but maybe that is part of This one's giving me a hard time. I'm going to try another piece. So I'm not sure what's going on with that one. So it's like when you open them, uh, the inside wrapper comes apart a little and it's stuck in other parts, places. Hopefully they're not usually like this. Maybe they were just left out at my grocery store. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna give it a try. Hmm. I thought it was gonna be a hard candy, but it's chewy. reminds me of uh, like the gummy candy dots. I wouldn't guess that it's rice. It just has like a sweetness to it. It's not quite a licorice. Hmm. What is that flavor? Like almost a bit of citrus, maybe? That was pretty good. And I, I could have just popped it in my mouth, you know, 
You can eat those inside wrappers. Like, that's why we try new things so that we can learn, right? And then, I think we'll do the bubblegum last. Got a bunch of bubblegums left. So for this pack, this one's the seven pack bubblegum. Marukawa? And it's got orange, strawberry, grape, green apple, peach even, frog possibly, and melon. So you got all these different flavors. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Do the green apple first. Just a little square. And these ones are from Japan as well. I just saw that on there. Got some foil. Hmm. Oh, it smells. It smells lemony. A little piece of gum. It's definitely green apple. I was thinking lemony for a second there. That's good. And it's soft. Nice burst of apple flavor. Mm. It's not like those fruit stripe gums you get and you chew them twice and they taste like blood. It still really tastes like apple. Hmm. Yeah. Let's try blowing a bubble. See how the bubble blowing consistency is. If I can. So, it's got a little bit of bubble blowing potential, but you probably really have to work it for a while. Let's see what this frog one is. Maybe this one's like a mystery piece? It doesn't tell you what it is. Unless it's frog. I don't think they make those. You never know. The green apple is good. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. I'm gonna try this mystery flavor. Probably gonna be a grape one. Other piece, same thing. I'm still tasting the green apple, but.
I'm pretty sure that piece is a grape. It's a good gum. I would chew it. A little bit different than your hubba bubba variety. You can even try melon. Give that one a try. Peach sounds good though too. I don't think I've ever had a peach gum. So, I'll try the grape after this mystery piece and then we can verify if it's grape or not. Individually wrapped, you can just pop different pieces in your bag. Oh, I want grape today. These are um over here. I see it. They say foo sen gum. I think I said that. Oh no, these ones are different. They're uh, they come with a bunch of little balls in the pack instead of one big piece. That's a good number in there. I wasn't expecting that. I'll try. I'll try just one. Now these smaller ones have more of a crunch, but they're good. The mystery one couldn't have been grape unless it was a different kind, because these ones are way more grapey. But they're good too. Let's see what the strawberry and melon are as well. They come in um, like with a variety. These ones are the little balls too. They smell like strawberry. Let me give them a try too. <laughs> so here's a strawberry one. Same as the grape, except strawberry. And it tastes good. These are good little packs of gum. Lastly is this. Oh no, we still have a couple more. We got this melon one. This one comes with a bunch of little pieces too. I'm gonna spit out all this gum. Let's see. Hmm. It doesn't really have a scent like when I opened the box. But as soon as I bit down into it, these small ones are really good. They're, um, I guess it's just cantaloupe? That's what it tastes like. They smell any. I don't think I've ever had a melon bubble gum before. It's good. Okay. So I see. The little boxes have the small balls and then the wrapped pieces are just one big piece. Let's try the 
peach too. Get rid of the melon. Mmm. Mmm. Smells nice and peachy. It's like a piece of bazooka almost. Mmm. That's really different. I've never had a where did it come? Never had a melon gum before, never had a peach gum before. There he is. Most tasty flavors. Peach is just like it's kinda like the peach in a peach tea. It's good. I didn't even bother trying to blow bubbles with the smaller pieces, but you could probably wrap them up and blow a pretty big bubble. I'm just going to chew this peach for a little bit more. It's pretty good. Oh, I guess I can chew it while I open the next one, right? We got some more bubble gum here. It's, um, it's also Fusen, so the next one is the same as, same brand as the ones I just tried. Strawberry. And actually, I'm guessing that they're, this one's just one big pack of the strawberry I had in the variety pack. So these are... Maru Kara strawberry. And they're just bubble gums. But you could uh you could open them. You can pop like pop one box in your purse, pop a box in your school bag, work bag, computer bag. Just take them around with you. So, I'm guessing that these are going to be the little, little round ones. Same things. So this is Fusen gum. Made in Japan. So for these ones, let's try, let's just try a whole box, see if it's like too much gum, or maybe that's what you're supposed to, how you're supposed to eat them. That makes it a lot more strawberry-y. If you're looking for flavor, just dump the whole box. It's a good consistency bubble, bubble gum. It's not sticking my teeth or anything. Since I did the whole pack, I could try blowing a bubble. See how it goes. Just kind of like work it a little more. Let me get this. All right, let's see how, see how it does. It's a little more elastic, so I'm thinking it might be blowing a bigger bubble. I 
Well, maybe not. Okay, let's try them one more time. Hmm. Almost. It wants to be a bubble. I bet if I was chewing it for a lot longer, it could probably blow bubbles, no problem. But they're tasty. I mean, that's what you want to chew gum for is the flavor. They're really good. They're nice and fruity. But definitely chew on them after a meal. But that's everything. Um, went through all my candies. So hopefully this will inspire you to try some candies from your international food aisles maybe. It's really nice having the different variety and just trying something new. Yeah, I enjoyed all of them. None of them were bad. They were all delicious, nice and fruity. So I highly recommend them. Everyone.